What's going on guys, it's Adam Wave here and in today's video we're doing another Ask Adam. I know, so original. But I haven't actually sat down and spoken to you lot in ages so I asked you lot to ask me some questions and I'm going to answer them for you. Let's do this. Before I start this video, you lot are probably wondering where I've been. Probably not though, but I've actually been on tour. Uh, when I say tour, it means me and Jake going around doing free meetups in the UK. And we've been doing that this month. Uh, also, Summer in the City was last weekend. Also, a London meetup tomorrow. We're going on holiday next week. So, yeah, I've been quite busy. You know, summer, I like to get the tits out and. Uh, I need to be serious for what I say. You know, I've just been enjoying summer and also I did merch and I've literally, one second, I'm going to show you how busy I've been with organising this merch. One second, one second. These are all the labels that need to be stuck onto the products. I'm like a Christmas tree. No, that's flattering. But yeah, that's, that's literally what I've been doing. I've actually been busy this time. It's not like I've just been eating pizza and uh, watching films. Each time I have a little break from YouTube, I always get back into the swing of things. And I just can't wait to- Shut up, Adam. Just do the Q&A. The first question comes from Dan Yule Frost, and they ask, I was probably Daniel. What did I say? Dan Yule Frost. And they ask, what is your favorite alcoholic drink? The next question comes from Megan Hunter and they ask, which is your fave piece of merch? My favorite piece of my merch is actually this one. It is the burgundy wafer hoodie. It's just super comfortable. I'm not even gonna try and promote it, like, you know, buy it, do it. But if you're interested in getting some of the merch, it comes out on the 29th of November again. Uh, that's when I'm restocking. And uh, yeah, if you wanna get some, you can get some. Oi, oi. Right, the next question comes from Sarah Walizada. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And she asks... <clears throat> Times 166, um, will you marry me? 166 times. Okay. Norny, no, why did I say Norny? Her name's not Norny. <laughs> Nori asks, um, smile at me. <laughs> oh God, what was that? The next question comes from Complex X EU, and they ask, what's your most embarrassing moment? Right, so um, we had a party here, and uh, everyone's really drunk, I was really drunk, like super drunk. And um, I was in the toilet, you know, just casually peeing. And this girl needs to come into the toilet. So she, she knocked on the door and she's like, I need the toilet. And I was like, you know, I'm drunk. I'm going to pull here. I'm going to stop peeing. I'm going to let her go in the toilet. She's going to come out and be like, oh, you're such a gentleman. So mid-pee, I was genuinely mid-pee, I stopped peeing. Uh, and if, if you're a boy or if you're a girl and you stop peeing halfway through, you know that the feeling is just horrific. So, you know, I stop peeing, I open the door, I let it go in, I close the door. I'm just waiting. I just, I'm going to pull after this. I was so buzzing because I was like, I'm such a gentleman. Well done, Adam. Right, so little did I know, I looked down, I'm wearing the skinniest H&M girls skinny jeans ever. Uh, and I looked down and it's literally, uh, <laughs> you can probably guess what's just happened. Right, so I just see a little a puddle coming down my leg and um, I'm too drunk to even feel it go down the leg. I'm peeing myself. I'm genuinely peeing myself. There's a hot girl in the toilet and I'm outside the door and I'm peeing and I'm covered in piss and I don't know what to do because the girl's still in the toilet. I could just go into my room. I could literally, the toilet's next door. I could go into it and change my trousers, but I didn't. I, um, I went into, I unlocked the toilet. Luckily she was done. And I went into the toilet and I stood there and I was like, I'm peeing. I was, I was, I was literally like, I'm peeing. I don't, I don't, I just pissed myself. I don't know why, I'm not even lying. That genuinely happened and um, her reaction was fine. She just found it funny that I was just so openly accepting to the fact that I just pissed myself. And um, to be fair, it was embarrassing when I woke up. I was, I was devastated and um, it's not like I was called pissy boy for a solid month. <sighs> you know, I can't be seen in public anymore, that's why I make YouTube videos in my bedroom. So that is the story, I don't know whether you lot find that really embarrassing. Uh, I do half and half. Um, 
But comment your most embarrassing story because I don't think anyone can really top that. Plaza's Styles asked, what does Kofi mean? <laughs> I knew this was going to get asked. If you didn't know, my name is Adam Kofi Wade, okay? Um, and Kofi means Friday. It's right. No, I'm not. No, that, that's, it's no. My dad is from South America. No, he's not from Africa. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, God. And if you're born on a Friday, you get the, the middle name, Kofi. And don't ask why. I don't know, to be fair. Um, I just, you know, it was given to me because I was born on a Friday. And um, there we go. Charlie Tompkins asks, what is it really like living with Gemini? Oh, here we go. This is what it's like. Every night. Lovely. Hannah asked, if you could eat the same thing for a week, what would it be? Pizza. The next question is from Kersey and they ask, why did you cut your afro? That is why. That, that, I didn't, I, I went through a really weird stage of wanting to be in the Jackson 5 and that is not an exaggeration. Literally that picture there, I'm going to put it there if my editing is on point, it's going to be there. Like, look at that bush. No wonder I'm single, oh, oh I'm still single now, but no wonder I literally got no, no girls till I was 16. The, the reason why I cut it is because I would literally go to school and then come back from school and have literally someone's pencil case, like the whole content of their pencil case in my hair. They would put pens in my hair. It was so easy just to put like a pen and pencils and maybe a ruler sometimes, you know, depending on how good my hair is that day. And they'd stick it in and I wouldn't realise until I'm showering or having a bath and I'd be like, oh, oh here's a pencil. You know, it, it was really random. It was the randomest experience. Finding a ruler at like 12 p.m. is just, just not what you need really. Now the last question is, will you ever bring out a book? Uh, <laughs> no, you know, I can't even read a book, let alone write one, so uh, I think I'm gonna skip that out. Uh, maybe if I get someone else to write it. Like um, <clears throat> most of all the books that have been released. Oh. <clears throat> The shade. So the last book that I actually read was of Mice and Men, and that was in you know high school. So um, I don't think I'm gonna go near any form of book anytime soon, unless it's a uh, porno mag. I, I don't know why I was looking for one. I was looking for something funny to say and to pick up. Okay, no. I'm just gonna eat pizza. Q and A over. Anyways, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, I'm gonna get back into the the film making videos for you. Lot. Also, the gaming channel is coming back very soon. Not gonna say when, you know, I don't wanna create false promises, um, but it's gonna, it's gonna start very soon. I don't know how long this video has actually been. It may be really short, maybe really long, uh, I don't know. But if you did enjoy it, please give it a cheeky thumbs up and share it around with your friends. Also subscribe if you haven't already and uh, follow me on Twitter if you wanna be included in the next Q&A. Just use the hashtag AskAdamWave and uh, I'll look through some of those tweets and maybe include them in the next Q&A. Anyways, I will see you in my next video. Peace out, okay?